guys, now I'm going to do an unboxing of the Intel uh, Core i5 3570K processor for my new 2012 custom PC build. Um, obviously it features the LJ1155 socket, probably one of the most popular Intel sockets. Um, and this one is LJ1155 because it is a tick in the Intel TikTok cycle. <clears throat> it's um, i5 and not i7 because even though the computer is going to be a pretty you know, good in performance, um, because the uh, price limit would not allow an i7 plus this is overclocked or unlocked so I'll be overclocking it to get the performance I want and if I was going to go with an i7 I'd be too tempted to upgrade the motherboard and the graphics card anyways but uh, so this is a 3570k um, unlocked obviously and it's Ivy Bridge uh, lineup Ivy, from the Ivy Bridge family of processors um, updates from Sandy Bridge include the unlocked processors have Intel HD Graphics 4000, if you can see that on the unlocked uh, Ivy Bridge ones, whereas Sandy Bridge had 3000. So apparently, um, 4000 is supposed to be a really big update or uh, upgrade. I don't understand though what Intel does because I don't know why they put the good, um, the, why they put the good HD graphics, integrated graphics, on the uh, unlocked, um, you know, CPUs. Because chances are, if you're gonna have an unlocked CPU, you're uh, you're going to have a dedicated graphics card and a high performance motherboard and you're not going to need integrated graphics as much but that's beyond me and uh, anyways I'll be getting the performance I want so far online I've seen people getting um, up to 4.5 gigahertz um, air cooled on this thing it runs a stock frequency of uh, 3.4 turbo boost 2.0 at 3.8 it's a quad core you know processor and I'm going to open it up right now we'll get it I'm boxed for real now. Cut the factory seal. And then take a look inside. That's what it's got. Okay, so, anyways, in here we have the uh, crappy stock heat sink that you're not going to need especially on an unlocked processor like this you better get something uh, that I got which is the Corsair H80 high performance liquid CPU cooler so but but here's the stock one you know nothing nothing big obviously something you know not worthy of my computer I would say and then uh, I'm so mean to Intel and then uh, here's the actual processor itself. I'm not going to take it out any further than this. This is pretty much as unboxed as it gets unless I'm going to install it, which I will. And I'll be doing, uh, definitely with this with this guy here, I'll be doing the, um, I'll be doing uh, optimization videos as well as overclock videos and uh, benchmarkings, benchmarks and uh, installation on the motherboard. So that's pretty much covers uh, this processor unboxing and thanks for viewing this and subscribe for more and I'll get to the other unboxings for you guys.